Hello, my name is Jeffrey Wong and I am a Solution Architect at F5 Networks. Today, I will be talking to you about how F5 and Cisco have teamed together to bring secure and available application services to Cisco ACI using F5, Big IP, and Cisco ASA. We will be looking at service insertion with both Cisco ASA Firewall and F5 Big IP Local Traffic Manager. This means we'll be creating a two-node service graph. Let's go into APIC. If we look at the Cisco APIC configuration, we see that there are two L4 through 7 devices available, a Cisco ASA and F5 Big IP running LTM. We see that the devices are in a redundant high availability configuration and that the two devices are in a stable state. We use the devices in what is called ACI service insertion mode. This is where a service graph is defined that has L4 to 7 devices in it. What makes a service graph unique is that it is a two node service graph with both firewall services and load balancing services included in the same graph. We see that there is a consumer EPG called ASA out where requests come into the fabric. Those requests are first sent to the Cisco firewall and then to the F5 load balancer where they are processed and sent onto servers in the CDE web server EPG. Here, we take a look at the end-to-end -end logical traffic flow. We see traffic coming in from the right of our three-tier application from the database tier, going through a service graph and then to the web tier. From the web tier, it flows through the firewall and load balancer service graph. And then finally, out of the fabric into the rest of the network. Here, we see the various firewall and load balancer parameters configured in the service graph. Let's expand them out so that you can see the various settings. One thing to note, APIC acts as a single management plane here. This is why it's called service insertion. So all the configuration is actually done through APIC. Lastly, let's take a look to see how APIC translates these configs for the big IP. We log into the big IP. First thing we note are the tenants in APIC map to partitions in the big IP. Each partition in big IP has its own separate route domain for security purposes. Once in the correct partition and route domain, we see the virtual server that was created by APIC. We also see that a pool was created. The pool members were also added to the pool. In this particular pool, we have shut down a few of the servers to illustrate how F5 Big IP LTM load balancing ensures application availability, even when individual servers are down for maintenance or failure. In summary, Cisco ASA and F5 Big IP LTM provide another level of security and high availability for Cisco ACI when used together. Thanks for watching.